Philip Matloko considers himself a storyteller, but instead of words, he uses paint and coal, and canvases from the traditional to the more exotic. His talent has earned him a ticket to China. This time around I'll be carrying uh, African landscape, which includes animal skin technique, oil on canvas, charcoal sketching, watercolor and oil painting to show the people that this is uh, uh, the work that we are doing here, this is how we live and telling people that the surrounding area that you are staying or the country or the continent that you are coming from, this is who we are. From political figures to ordinary men and women, Matloko brings history to life and captures contemporary struggles. I need to, to do my, 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 my continent and even my country, I need to, 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 put, to put them on the, on the map, you see, and I, I must do them proud. They must see, because now I'm, 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 I'm the ambassador. Matloko says efforts are underway to teach other artists in the province to use animal skin as a canvas. Originating from Ethiopia, only a handful of people have mastered the art. Ulrich Hendricks, SABC News, Kimberley, Northern Cape.